everybody. Could you use some good news? No? Okay. I'll go. Come on, I'm just playing. Hey, it's official. The Obama administration will not build a Death Star. Never mind that trillion dollar platinum coin that everyone was talking about last week. Over 34,000 Americans had a better idea for boosting the economy. A massive government works project to construct the Death Star. It would create jobs and establish American space superiority pretty much forever. I mean, really, are the Russians or the Chinese going to build their own Death Stars? Or the Japanese? Come on, can you imagine how much smaller it would be than ours? The proposal was made via a petition on the White House website, and since it crossed the 25,000 signature petition threshold, the White House issued an official response written and posted online by Paul Shawcross, chief of the Science and Space Branch of the White House Office of Management and Budget. The petition itself was tongue-in-cheek, I hope, and so was the official response, which cited the prohibitive cost of the project, an estimated $850 quadrillion, the fact that the Obama administration doesn't support blowing up planets, take that Alex Jones, and the flawed design which allows the Death Star to be completely destroyed by a single one-man spaceship. It's for the best, really. I know it seems like a cool idea now, having a Death Star, but by, like, the third time some Star Wars nerd gravely intones, that's no moon, as he looks up at the night sky, you'd be well sick of it, believe me. On to some real space news. NASA and the Canadian Space Agency are getting set to test a robot built to repair and refuel satellites already in orbit. The robot, dubbed the Special Purpose Dexterous Manipulator, or Dexter for short, will be remote controlled and allow for repair and maintenance of spacecraft without requiring astronauts to go on spacewalks to try to fix things themselves, or in the far more common scenario, simply abandoning the satellite. Finally, astronomers studying data in the Sloan Digital Sky Survey have discovered a cluster of quasars that is the biggest thing ever seen. I do love my space news. This cluster of 73 quasars, all tied to each other by gravity, is about 9 billion light years away and 4 billion light years across. Just as a point of comparison, the Virgo supercluster, which is made up of tens of thousands of galaxies, including our own Milky Way, is a bit over 100 million light years across. The large quasar group is so big that astronomers are trying to figure out how it's even there since it's over three times as large as the estimated limit for such structures. Further study of the LQG could result in significant changes in our understanding of the early universe and how the universe is put together on its largest scale. It's hard to imagine anything cooler or more exciting than that. The Obama administration says no to building a Death Star, NASA tests out a new robotic mechanic, and astronomers discover a quasar cluster that is literally bigger than anything we imagined. That's the good news.